So another new app we have available to us this year that we did not have in the past is Google Calendar. Uh, Google Calendar is your way to be able to uh, keep yourself organized. And so the easiest way uh, to use that is if I click on my little waffle from Drive. So I log into my Google Drive, I click on my waffle, and I should see an option in there for Calendar. And when I click on it, it's going to take me to a website that is calendar.google.com. So if I have, uh, don't have it in my waffle, I can just type in the address or bookmark it, calendar.google.com. And it should be logged in to your account. Might give you a little uh, what's new pop-up. You can just say, yeah, I got it. But in the upper right-hand corner, again, verify to make sure you're in your psdr3.org calendar. So the way Google Calendar works is when I open it up, I can view all of my content in either day, week, or month, or four day, or agenda view. And it'll list everything that I have in my calendar and shows you all of these things right in this view. Now if I wanted to add something to my calendar, all I have to do is click on any individual day and it's gonna open a, an event window that allows me to create an event. And so if I had math homework tonight, I could go ahead and type in math homework. And I could choose uh, just to have it show up on this day. Or if I click edit event, I have all kinds of options. I could say, instead of this being an all day event, let's make this a specific time. Maybe I need to do this homework at 7 p.m. And I could go ahead and choose a specific time for this event. I make sure it goes into my calendar. And then I can go ahead and click save to uh, add this event to my calendar. Here it is. Now, what your teachers have been working very hard on doing, uh, which is going to make your life a lot easier, is to create subscribable calendars for you. Um, and so in order to access that, all we need to do is go to that teacher's calendar and click subscribe to add that calendar to your calendar. So let me show you how that works. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go to File and hit New Tab to open up a new tab here. And I'm gonna go to the Holman website. It's just holman.psdr3.org. And we have a new page up here called Calendars. This is new, we have not had this before. I can either get to it here or there's a little calendar button over here on the side. They both do the same thing. But when I click on it, it takes me to a new page that has nothing but calendars on it. And so the first one under calendars is a building calendar. This is a calendar of all of our building events. Things like when fundraisers start and end, what days are early dismissals, what days we have off, when's spring break, when's Christmas break, all that stuff all shows up in here. If I wanted to be kept up to date on all of these things, all I have to do is in the bottom corner of that HO building calendar, I click this plus sign and this will add this to my Google Calendar. So it gives me a message and it says, hey, do you want to add this calendar? And I say, yes, please add this calendar. And then now what it does is it has added to my calendar. Let me go to month view here. It has added not only my things that I've added here, but it all of a sudden adds all of these other events that were part of our buildings calendar. Now over here on the left, I have an option for my calendars. And then I also have an option over here for other calendars. Other calendars are calendars that I subscribe to. So what I've just done is I've subscribed to our building calendar. So it shows me all the building calendar stuff. Now in front of every calendar is a little box uh, with a color on it. And if I click on that box, that simply hides or shows that calendar. So if I don't want to see all of the building events, I can just click on it. It disappears. It's still here. But anytime I need to get back to it or I want to see what's going on, I just check the box and it comes right back. Now, I'm going to go back to that same tab that I had before with my Holman calendars uh, and show you on the left sidebar here, there's a whole bunch of different calendars to choose from. So if I'm a sixth grader, I have a calendar for each one of my teams. All right, so depending on what team I'm in, I can go ahead and subscribe to my homework calendar for my individual team. Um, math teachers are not on team, so I could pick and choose whatever my math teacher is and find their calendar and subscribe to the calendar based on whichever class that I'm in. 
Um, SSD has their own calendars and even some elective teachers have calendars. So I can find whatever calendars that I need to have access to and I can subscribe to them and they will all show up in the same place. So let's say I am on 6 South and so I will go ahead and subscribe to their calendar. And again it asks do I want to add this? I say yes. And now I have subscribed to that calendar as well. So I see all of the events for 6 South. Notice they are yellow because that's the color it's been assigned to it. If I don't like that color I could go ahead and click on the little arrow next to it and I can change that and customize it make it whatever color I want. I can do that. Now uh, if my teachers uh, are putting in their homework um, chances are I can only see part of that assignment here um, so I probably need to click on uh, that assignment itself and if there are any notes or uh, any details listed they'll all show up once I click on that assignment. So if they tell you only do certain problems or only do certain page numbers um, all of those things will be listed and I can click on any individual um, event in my calendar and I will be able to see um, all the information that has been entered into that calendar. Um, and then I can make multiple calendars uh, for myself if I want. So let's say I am on a sports team um, and I wanted to add my sports calendar to this. I can. All I have to do is go to my calendars. I click on the little arrow next to it and I hit create a new calendar. And so I could create a new calendar and I could call it my sports team. And hit create calendar. And so it has now created a calendar. Might take a second to pop up. There it is, my sports team. And so now if I want to create an event, all I have to do is click anywhere. And again, I like to be in month view here. But if I click somewhere and I'm going to add an event, and I would say game tonight at 7 p.m. Right down here it asks me which calendar do I want to add this to. Uh, by default it's using my individual calendar. But since I want this to go on my sports team calendar, I would just pick and choose and it lets me go back and forth depending on which calendar I want. And then I hit create and it will add that to my calendar. Now it's also smart enough to realize that, hey, you typed this in at 7 p.m. So it even adjusted my time to make it match at 7 p.m. if I need to. Now I cannot add events to these calendars. These calendars are only editable by the people that have created them. Um, so I can only add things to my own calendars. But again, I can change those uh, colors and customize the way I want those to be too. And that's how I can customize my calendar and subscribe to all the important calendars to make sure I am up to date with any information that I need.